I'm going to be using this piece of steel. It's about 25 gauge sheet steel. So first I'm going to cut out a piece. Um, it's going to be 74 by 105 millimeters, which is the size of um, an A7 piece of paper. To cut the piece out, I'm going to be using an angle grinder with a cut-off wheel. You can also use like a hacksaw. And with metal this thin, you can also just bend it until it breaks. So next, bring it over to the belt sander and uh, sand down to the lines that I marked. So here's our 87 piece of steel. So the next step is I'm going to cut off the first fold that you do where you fold the corners in. So you just have to figure out which side you want the point to be on. It'll be the front of the plane. Measure it so it's 74. Half of 74 is 37. So then you just measure from each side and get a middle point. and then measure down get this point because the first fold you fold this corner into the middle and then so each side is going to be the same each side of that triangle you fold in so now we have a mark at the very top and I mark the same distance down on each side and you just take a straight edge and then connect those two marks where they touch the edge of the so now we have that so I'm going to go cut these off and sand them down like I did with the other edges Okay, so next we're going to mark where the fold's going to be. So there's going to be a fold down the center. So we just have to measure the bottom. It should be around 74. So 37. So there's our line for where the center fold's going to be. So then we have to find a bisector of this angle. So to do that, you measure how long this is from the very tip to the edge of there. Actually, it doesn't matter how long it is, but you keep that and you go mark it in the center line where that is. So I have a little mark on my center line there. So that to the point is the same length as this to the point. So then you just have to find the center of this, of the line connecting that center point with this edge here. And then you draw a line from where that center point is to there and there'll be a angle bisector. And so if we did this right, this other one should have a B in the same place. Because... And it's pretty much in the same place, so we just use that. So the easy way to do this is just measure and divide it by two. This is from the center to that end. About four centimeters. 
We'll say it's four centimeters. We need to mark it two. We do the same thing on the other side. And we add a line from that mark to the tip. So there's one fold line. So next we have to take a hacksaw and uh, dig these lines out a bit more. So when we fold it, the sheet metal will actually fold together and not have an air gap. Okay, so to do this, clamp it into my vise just below the line. I'm going to take a pair of sheet metal vise grips and attach them just over the line. Okay, so we do the middle one, same way again, just fit it in, just so that cut marks right in the middle. So we have lines where these pieces fold in, and then where the middle folds. So right now I'm going to sand off these, couple burn marks, I'm using 600. Might have to go a bit lower, but let's see. Then I took the two pieces that I cut off earlier. I'm gonna use them to protect part of the fold. This side, that in there. Then you just tighten and fold the sheet metal over. This is only folded with 90 degrees. So now, I'm going to go two and a half centimeters from each edge to fold in, fold the wings down, and then when I fold the middle together, we'll have a little ridge at the bottom. Okay, so this time, we're only folding in 90 degree angles, so I'm not going to cut a groove in there. I'm just going to fold it, but I'm going to need a line, so I'm going to take a piece of tape and tape a line. So from the tip to that little mark I made, Now I'm going to fold along this line. So I'm going to use the tape to find it right where the line I want to fold is. Right there. I have to flatten it out a bit more so that it, I can fit into the bender. 